and see if they can get their offense back on track. Wilson will throw again. Able to find the open man. That's complete. Now the Broncos are going to call the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. They'll throw on first down with Wilson. And this is caught for a Bronco touchdown. Adam Troutman, a 22-yard touchdown grab. And the Broncos are an extra point away from tying the ball game here in the final minute of the first half. Looks good on the extra point. And that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. As they will take over here with a little more than 30 seconds remaining. And meanwhile, Allen's throw going to be caught by Davis. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 26 seconds to go until halftime. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now the Broncos are going to use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. A throw off his back foot there. That's going to wind up incomplete. I like the call. It looked like the right time to dial up a running back screen. But this one got disrupted right from the start and ends up falling incomplete. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Allen now looks to throw. A little pitch and catch to the tight end, Knox. And he'll be out of bounds up near the 45 at the 44. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. So the shotgun snap to Allen. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. That one will go down as 33 yards on the third down conversion. And again, it's Allen. He's got the hook up with Diggs. And he will reach the eight-yard line before going out. 14 yards that time for number 14. Here's Allen. Now, quick throw there going to be batted away and incomplete. Coaches talk about it all the time. Players talk about it as well. Excellent job staying disciplined in coverage and making that stop. Inside the red zone, every stop like that could be preventing a possible touchdown. The kick by Bass is good, and the Bills have come back to regain the lead. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal, you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. One second, all that remains. They'll indeed start on the ground to run that clock. And he's going to be taken down here as that will lead us to the end of the first half of play. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. A 
field goal the difference. 17-14 is the score. Back underway here now in this third quarter. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And Charles, they've got the lead. Put your coaching hat on here now. What's the game plan for the second half? I think getting the running game going a little bit more because I thought in the first half, they didn't get it moving the way that they would like. They had success throwing it. But I think these first couple of drives, they'll want to get those running backs going and give them more opportunities. And I will guarantee you that those guys were lobbying for them in the locker room at halftime. Uncorks one for Davis. It's caught inside the 25. And all the way home for a Bills touchdown. Gabriel Davis, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Bills come right out of the locker room and score here in the opening minute of the third quarter. An extra point by Bass, up and good. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Fair catch going to be taken, and this will be moved out to the 25. Denver offense at the line, ready to go. They make their second half debut here, and things are looking a little bit tougher now. You give up the points there, Charles, that touchdown drive on the other side, so now it's a two-score game here. Got to be careful. They certainly do, and I'm just wondering at halftime if those guys just looked into each other's eyes and realized what they've got to get done and come out a little bit more charged up because if they don't get some kind of points here, that next drive, that could make this a three-possession game. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now Wilson changing the play. To throw on third down. Wilson. That is caught. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 46. Not liking the look. They'll change the play. They go play action now. Wilson. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes. But the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. On second down, Williams. And he'll be close to a first down as the tackle made at the Bills 38. 41 yards rushing for him now to this point. This drive is turning to an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. And yeah, boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. They run. It's Williams. And he gets it to the 32. Good enough for a first down. Now they'll throw it with Wilson. And he's going to be taken down. Pressure gets there back at the 39-yard line. Leonard Floyd picks up his second sack of the afternoon. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Here's Wilson. Gets this into the hands of Samaj P. Ryan. What do they have for this? Third and 11. Wilson. And the throw there going to be incomplete. They really had a good drive going there, but a nice recovery by the defense these past few downs. Able to knock that one away on third down and bring up what I think for the offense, an unexpected fourth down here. 
The kick by Lutz is good. And this is back down to a seven-point game. So the response to that touchdown on the other side to begin the third quarter, look, just three points, but still a response nonetheless. You're exactly right about that because I think you needed to answer back with something, even though it's not six. Just enough to send the message that says, hey, we're not going away. And from the end zone, Deontay Hardy will bring it out. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. And they've got the lead here getting late into the third quarter. And the passing game for them, it's been terrific. We've seen that. But the rushing game, almost non-existent. And with the lead and trying to finish this game off, they need the running game to come back to life. They need to get sparked that way, take some time off the clock, and keep the ball away from their opponents. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. So the completion good for six yards, and it'll be second down. A give to Cook out of the gun. And he'll get a couple up to the 29. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we've played three quarters. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Welcome back now to Denver. The Bills on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. Here it's third and two. They keep it on the ground, but this time it's Murray. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. They're just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. Going deep for Diggs. That is incomplete. Trying to get a big strike right there and hopefully tie this game up in the late going. But the coverage was there, and this winds up incomplete. Second and 10 from the 33-yard line. Handoff comes to Cook. And now off to the races, down the right side. He may go. And all the way home for a Bills touchdown. James Cook, 67 yards. And the Bills use the big play to extend their fourth quarter lead. Bass on for the extra point. And the lead is up to 14. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Broncos onto the field ready to start their next drive. Last time out, you remember their drive stalled, but thanks to their kicker, booted a long field goal to at least get him three. Now here they'll try to do better and find the end zone. And in our experience, how much fun is it for coaches to know that they've got a kicker who can nail it from long distance? Now the hard part is, as an offensive play caller, you don't want that in your head too much where you're relying on it, and he goes out and gets the job done for them. But I'm quite sure he would be content to just kick extra points from here on out. Yeah, absolutely no question. I think his teammates would be okay with him just kicking the extra points as well. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He sets to fire deep. And the defense has it covered. It's intercepted. Picked off by Micah Hyde. If they had designs of kind of wiggling their way back into this one, that hurts their chances right there. They had to put it mildly. We look at the lead, look at the deficit, trying to make a play downfield. Everyone seeking to be somewhat the hero. Didn't turn out that way at all, and you're exactly right. It's going to take a lot for them.